Today I'm I'm in a random fucking dorm here in Yukon and whichever door I hear that's lit as fuck, I'm just gonna knock on their door. Let's let's go. <laughs> oh, what's up guys? Hi hi! I'll make it a YouTube uh, video. Oh, right hello. Now. How down would you guys be to be in it? Okay. Yeah, you down? Okay. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So today I'm here with Amanda, Jasmine, Uncle Moy, Uncle Moy, aka right. Young Picasso, aka Sperm Donor, Sperm Donor. Yes, sir. Don't don't donate too much, man. You gotta save some for yourself. Question is, what is the craziest party story you've ever experienced? I don't want to talk about that. Question. Did you donate sperm at a party? Not at a party. I came to visit last year um, for a darty, and I watched a few people urinate and um shit themselves. You watched it happen. Oh yeah, out in the woods. Some girl. That has that happened to you? No. You sure? I'm positive. You keep keep yourself together? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Um, that same day, a kid was passed out bleeding in the woods. I just came to visit. I, I came to the school and there. And that was your first experience at the school? Mm hmm Here she is. She came to the school. Blood pissing. Oh, I want all of that. <laughs> Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. No. <laughs> the crazy shit I've seen at a party. I've seen a girl get completely naked. Ooh. Damn. I missed that party. Is that a lake house? Lake house? Okay. Yeah. What went down? Ooh. What was the craziest shit you've seen that night? I had two girls fighting over a wine bottle and they fell into the lake. That sounds like white people. Yeah, it was. It, it was? was white okay. people. It was actually a oh, Yale party. Well, I've seen a girl just fucking blow a guy. What happened after? I mean, Sorry. he was the like, situation. Thank you. He was like, thank you for blowing me. He <laughs> said thank you. Shook her hand. And so the craziest thing I've done is finger bang a girl at a party. What's the craziest thing you've done at a party? Dude, a girl kissed me. She kissed me, bro. Okay, what's the craziest shit you've done at a party? Over what? I, like, fell downstairs. And like... Yo, she fell downstairs, guys! That shit is crazy! Spring semester, I went to a party at Hilltop Apartments. And me and my friend got fucked. Like... Oh, oh like, up... Fucked? No, like. Oh, 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 just got like fucked, fucked up. up. Oh, okay. Describe your uh, uh, frat party experience. Well, girls, they get ready in their room, right? You spend like an hour and a half getting ready. You pregame because you're so excited for this night, right? You spend money in an Uber to get to the party. By fucking Shit. some miracle, it's not capped or popped. You go in and you basically have to like flaunt your appearance in order to get in. Once you get in, there's literally no guy, right? You're like, hi, I'm here. There's no guys except for the frat douchebags, yeah. and you don't even know where they are because somehow you're grinding to subpar music and it's only girls. Have you had uh, your fair share of lesbian experience? No. <laughs> and it's boring. You spend money in Uber to go home. You spend money on food that you don't really need. You're just right, drunk. Right. Like you, you just go to bed, you wake drunk. up, and you pray you don't have a hangover. Girls like when boys are at parties. We don't want to party with all girls. We like when boys are at two. I promise. <laughs> What's the one that just happened? Oh my god! Oh. So this was just last week, okay? I had an incredible time at a social, and then I went to a different frat. We stayed really late. We were all like pretty sober. I mean, sober enough to drive, my friend was. So we're driving home. It's 3.30 in the morning. So we're driving, and we're at the intersection, and we had a green light, and the only person next to us was a like food delivery car. Like, it's 3 in the morning. No one's out at UConn that, that late. But then we don't go through the green light because there's this girl screaming running chasing this car screaming right in front of us she doesn't care that we have a green light so the food truck was going to go right okay and we were going to go straight okay as we're both at the light this girl comes running across so we both halt Just right in front in, of in us middle, middle right street. in front of us so we're like oh my god like this girl's gonna get hit right. tonight because she was all over the place and i don't fuck with that so i'm like we have to drive her home she rolls down the window and is like come on like we'll drive you home like you'll be fine this girl get comes up to the front of the door puts her hand on my friend and goes she had an accent. She looked like a student though. Mm -hmm. Which of you is more willing? And we were like, what? Oh. And we thought willing to drive her home, right? And then she pointed to the food truck. She was like, you or them? And we were like, they're not gonna drive you home. We're like, we'll drive you home, we'll drive you home. She gets in the car and she goes, 
starts fucking driving. <sighs> oh wow, she really wants to go home. And we were like, where do you live? Where do you live? She goes, we're not going home. You're gonna follow that car. Do you know them? No, that's a kidnapping. This is what she says to us, okay? And I was like, this isn't happening. This can't be real at all. No, you, you're making this up, what? We called the police. You can see on my phone, I dialed 911 three times, but not yet. So she's like, follow that car, it's a kidnapping. At this point, we're like, is this girl like in trouble or is she crazy? Do we help her or do we ignore like a terrible situation? Like, what do we do? So we start following this white car. And it's not like a car chase. Like if this person really was kidnapping someone, like, they were going 10 miles an hour. So we we're just following them, following them, following them. They turn right by McMahon up to that parking lot. And they don't park and turn their car off. They just keep it on. Lights on. Everything. And we're in this car. And we're like, please, like, tell us your name. Like, who's in that car? Like, if we're going to help you out with this, like, really scary situation, you need to tell us. Like, yeah. who are you? Like, yeah. what's going on? And she grabs me like this and goes, I'm not telling you anything. I work for him. And I was like, wait. So now we're in danger. Like, what is happening? I was freaking out. We're sitting in that parking lot being like, okay, well, we can't drop her and leave her because if that's actually a dangerous person, we can't right. drop her there. Right, so what happened? At all the same time, we realized we had to get out of there. So what we were gonna do is let her out. She was like, I need to go get them. I need to go get them. We let her out of the car and she was not urgent at all. She just walked on over to the car, like leaned over the passenger side, just started talking to the guy. Yeah, is that by time? You and we left. Took off. We left and called the police and told them everything. We called the police back in the morning, being like, we are really concerned that that was like a dangerous situation, was it? And they were like, no. We talked to all the individuals you talk you described, and oh. everything was fine. But Shit, what would you guys do in that situation? I'd be so flustered. I wouldn't know what to do. But saving somebody from kidnapping—that's. That's some white people shit. I would. If you guys did enjoy that video, if it, uh, if you liked it, help your boy out. Give it a nice thumbs up, and I will see y'all next week. Dude, Sienna asked, "What languages do you speak?" Shit, girl, I speak that body language. I speak fluently Mandarin. What do you want to have as well? Hey, hey, Spanish. Hola, cómo estás?